We know a lot about the weapons that were showcased within Halo Infinite's trailer, though we all know there is still so much more to be shown, and in this video I'm going to showcase all the unconfirmed weapons for Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's know you want to see some more content like this. Helps more people a chance to see this video to get a chance to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on, make sure you subscribe as well guys to the channel because we're always doing some awesome Halo news information here for you guys. So let's get right into the content here. So I'm sure many of us have dissected down the gameplay demo that we received back in July, right? And you know, we I even made a video about showcasing all the different types of weapons that were showcased in there. Those are all the confirmed weapons we know for sure. Many of us dissected down the July reveal and the gameplay demo that we had for Halo Infinite. And so we definitely also know all the confirmed weapons within Halo Infinite that were shown within that trailer. And again, that video in the link in the description as well if you want to check it out. Here's a list of all the different kinds of weapons that are confirmed right now in Halo Infinite. I'm sure many of you are aware there have been many little leaks when it comes to Halo Infinite and the kind of things that we'll see within that game. Many things outside of 343's official confirmation of everything, but I wanted to give you guys a list of all the leaks and kind of promotional materials that have been released ever since July and even before that and kind of talk about all the unconfirmed weapons within Halo Infinite. Now, many of these would probably be in the game as previous toy leaks did suggest some new weapons coming in and we did see those within the trailer as well. But also keep in mind that many of these items may just be for promotional material, may just be for the toys themselves and things like that. Uh, Sketch even went online and actually kind of said like, hey, everything that you see when it comes to relating to toys isn't exactly something that you will see in Halo Infinite, which would make sense. Though we have seen a lot of these toy leaks actually come to fruition within the game, literally. But before we go into showing the content, I just want to say some of this might actually be in the game. Some of it might not be. That's why it's unconfirmed because we haven't had it officially confirmed from 343. So let's first go over some of the toy reveals that or some are officially revealed. Some haven't officially been revealed as well. Uh, this is from the Mega Constructs uh, Instagram page where basically they'll just, as soon as they see something about Mega Constructs, they'll tweet it out Halo Infinite, major partner with Mega Constructs when it comes to the toy reveals. And so I want to kind of go over a view of these first. Uh, this is the most recent image that's been showcased. Now, many of these items have been shown previously. Uh, like the Spartan with what was the Mangler, which we didn't realize was the Mangler, but this was showcased before the reveal of Halo Infinite, so that's something to keep in mind. We keep seeing this rifle right here. It's some kind of electrical rifle. Uh, we'll showcase that later in the video why. And so we don't really know what it is. I think a lot of people just kind of refer to it as the shock rifle. That's an unconfirmed weapon right there for sure. Another pretty much obvious one that's going to be there, but it's not confirmed. We have the sniper rifle. Uh, it's very much in line with the st art style that we had like in Halo 4 and 5 kind of sniper rifle, which actually I don't mind too much. Uh, so that's another one right there. And you can, you can see the uh, AR that we have for Halo Infinite as well in here. Now here's an image that actually kind of sparked this whole video idea, guys, was this little reveal right here. Yeah, it's a carbine, like the traditional carbine that we've known and loved since Halo 2 being held by an elite that we've seen associated with that elite with Halo Infinite. It even says right here, like a mystery, this comes like in a mystery, like little two pack thing you can buy. And it showcases multiple weapons that we have not had confirmed, but it literally says Halo Infinite on the package. And it has this weapon right there. So we have the carbine right here. And we also have what looks like to be a DMR as well. Now here's the official packaging for that Halo Infinite mystery two pack thing that you'll get. Basically, you just get one one or ran, one or two random figures within the whole thing. And again, you see on the cover, there's that carbine, there's that DMR, there's that saw rifle that we've seen, there's the mangler, the needler, the plasma pistol, and the uh, the new shotgun that we have for Halo Infinite as well. Right on the cover of the, and boom, it says Halo Infinite right there. Now, does this mean that Halo Infinite will have a carbine? I mean, not necessarily, but I think it highly highly implies so. So all you people who are worried out there that the Pulse Carbine is going to replace the Classic Carbine, I think that you won't have to worry about that too much. Uh, though we still need to know more about these different types of weapons as we do know that within the reveal of Halo Infinite there was, you know, showcase like Kinetic, Pulse, 
and the kind of weapon that it is when it comes to it. So maybe it'd be different kind of weapon variants within Halo Infinite as well, but that's pure speculation. Now with all this talk of unconfirmed information and stuff about Halo, you know what one thing actually can be confirmed? Is how awesome Loot Crate is. That's right, guys. If you don't know, we actually are partnered with Loot Crate. Link in the description down below. If you decide to make a purchase, make sure you use Kevin15 for 15% off your purchase. Loot Crate, if you don't know, they send you a mystery box and they get a bunch of awesome little goodies in it. And it's a bunch of variety of different things. You have like Destiny that's coming out soon. You got Fallout, Elder Scrolls, uh, Harry Potter, Deadpool, Rick and Morty, and also just general like gaming wear, kind of sci fi stuff movie theme stuff as well. You got like Pixar stuff, you love Pixar movies. Well, a lot of really cool things mixed in with it. And plus, if you guys make a purchase, it really helps out the channel as well. So thank you so much for watching and thank you Luke Creative for sponsoring this video. But here's some promotional material. Uh, this kind of also goes without saying that we would assume it would be in it, but we haven't seen it yet, but it's pretty much confirmed, all but confirmed really. We have the Gravity Hammer coming back in Halo Infinite. Uh, just because like you see, boom, slap the tag right there, Halo Infinite right on the box. And it's a brute. Holding a gravity hammer. Now, obviously, yes, we have the brutes coming into Halo Infinite with the Banish, but you would assume that there would be a gravity hammer. I'd be very surprised if there wasn't. Uh, but the same, you know, we haven't had it confirmed yet, so that's definitely another weapon that we can check off on our unconfirmed list. There's that battle rifle again. Interestingly enough, with this battle rifle, you see it has a very boxy kind of scope to it. When you come back to the image we looked at previously, that battle rifle did not have a boxy, weird scope on it. Uh, so very, maybe within the game you could replace scopes on your weapons. Kind of like how we had in Halo 5, but they came up with straight variants where you can probably have the same weapon and just attach a different scope on it. And the reason I bring up the idea of bringing up different kinds of scopes within Halo Infinite is because if you look at this image array over here with a battle rifle, you can see we have a bit of a rail system if you zoom in and check it out right here on this BR-55 battle rifle. Now this doesn't like absolutely mean you're gonna be able to change out your optics, though it would add a whole nother level of customization and maybe it may help you play the same weapons you've had throughout Halo in a different way, which would be pretty interesting to have around okay here's a set of two weapons that i think are you'd expect to have back in the game but we haven't had it confirmed yet but we see right here there here is the smg it looks like it has a suppressor on it this time as well so it might be in line with like the odst suppressor version of the uh, smg as well guys and also right here you can check out we have the rocket launcher pretty much like the spanker rocket launcher that we've had previously uh if you saw the nerf reveal yes it's for the spanker rocket launcher and so it would make sense that you could have the actual spanker rocket launcher in the game as well and here's another weapon that i find really exciting that looks like it might be coming back it is the classic focus rifle from halo reach which i got this image right here guys you can see this part with that mystery shock rifle electrical thing which you mentioned previously how i think it's electrical um, well one because it has this effect to it right here and also we've seen that previous shock grenade that was thrown during the trailer as well uh, i would assume it would see some kind of similar uh weaponry kind of utilized in different kinds of fashions this time being in a rifle of some sorts but we see the focus rifle direct model from like halo reach put in here with like a banished banshee over here and it's it's for halo infinite like this product was created for halo infinite guys i think it's pretty Interesting to see, which is actually fun because it's actually one of the top five weapons I wanted to see back in Halo Infinite was the focus rifle, but obviously repurposed. But you can see right here how the focus, it just, that's the focus rifle from Halo Reach right there. Then we do know there's going to be a strong influence of Reach within Halo Infinite as we've seen the plasma repeater come back in here as well. As you can see, here's another toy reveal. Halo Infinite slapped right on top of the box, guys, with an elite that we've seen that same model within Halo Infinite quite often holding a plasma repeater from Halo Reach, but confirming that this could be another Halo Reach style weapon coming into Halo Infinite. Here is that shock rifle once again, and I have a feeling this can be like a much more of an anti-vehicle type of weapon, because every time we've seen this weapon in any form of promotional material, besides a standalone just action figure holding it, but any kind of action scene, it's always been involved with a vehicle. This is with the skiff that they have available for Mega Constructs, remember correctly that a vehicle will not be in Halo Infinite but we've seen this weapon just everywhere when it comes to the promotional material guys so I'd be very very surprised to not see this rifle show up once again 
in Halo, or show up at all in Halo Infinite. So to recap everything we just showcased, guys, we had the classic carbine, we had the shock rifle, which I'm calling it, we had the focus rifle, gravity hammer, brute shot, DMR, SMG, sniper rifle, the rocket launcher, and the plasma repeater, all unconfirmed weapons within Halo Infinite. So I'm pretty sure we have some more weapons we have not had confirmed or seen or shown in any capacity whatsoever, though I do have a strong feeling we we'll get a chance to know some more as we do know that there's going to be an XO20 event happening in November, most likely November 9th. Highly likely we'll see some kind of Halo Infinite news there. So if you want to stay up to date when, as soon as that information goes live, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep yourself up to date with everything going on with Halo. Thanks so much for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.